On Sunday, we're going to one of my favorite racetracks, New Hampshire Motor Speedway, a.k.a. Loudoun, a.k.a. the Motor Mile. But it looks like that NASCAR will have a face-off with Mother Nature once again. Before I get started here, I would like to note, I do apologize for some of you that may have been expecting my Xfinity series slash Arca Menard series Iowa Speedway breakdown. I, I made the video, but by the time it was time to edit it, it was already Friday night and they had already finished the mid-Ohio race, so I was pretty late on it this week. I figured out a good way to get it out more in more of a timely fashion. Next week, I do apologize for anyone that was expecting that video. I will try to do better when it comes to my consistency. Like I said, I had the video made. It's been a very busy week. But by the time I got to editing it, they were already doing the race at Mid-Ohio in the ARCA series. So I didn't see much of a point of releasing it. Hello, everyone. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short. And this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news, and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about New Hampshire Motor Speedway? Who's your pick to win? So it's time for the Motor Mile. I think there's a bunch of unknowns heading into this race. First of all... We're going to get straight into it, by the way. First of all, <laughs> the tires, the tires, the tires, the tires. Which tires are we bringing? I feel like every week now I'm talking about the tires because the tires seem to be a big factor anywhere we go. So the tires can go one of two ways. We had last week at Iowa where tires didn't make the biggest difference, but at the same time, drivers knew if they over pushed it on those tires they could have a blowout and go into the wall. There was a slight fall off, but not as much as you'd expect. Or the tires could be the opposite way. We get tires like we've had at tracks like Richmond and Martinsville, where the tires don't fall off at all, where it's really difficult to pass. That doesn't have anything to do with the tires. That's more of the package. But I'm very curious on what we're going to get at New Hampshire. And then I was talking about the weather. Weather seems like it's been a big part of NASCAR this season, as it is most seasons for the NASCAR Cup Series. And New Hampshire tends to be one of those places that always sees to have at least a little bit of rain, whether it's a rain delay, whether the race gets moved to Monday. It happens a lot at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. So a Monday race would not surprise me. I'm going to start going into these favorites because like I said, I don't have a whole bunch to say when it comes to how the racing is going to be at New Hampshire Motor Speedway because it is a bunch of unknowns. But expect that lower to lower middle line to be the strong point around the track. You'll have a couple of drivers trying different lanes. Some will just try to hold it at the very bottom. Some will try to diamond it through the corner where they'll enter low, go up middle, and then enter back down, down low. That's kind of the, that's usually the way I get around New Hampshire and I racing at least. But like I said, with all these unknown factors when it comes to the tires, when it comes to the package, when it comes to whether we're going to get rain or not, we might even use the wet weather tires. There are so many unknowns heading in to this event. But that being said, like I said, let's get to the favorites. There's a couple of drivers I expect to be favorites no matter what sort of conditions we have. And the first one I'm going to name is Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is really good at dropping news bombs in the media center. I mean, uh, racing at flatter racetracks. Hi Tom, I'm so excited to be working with you on Infinity War. I thought you'd like to be the first to see the poster for the movie. Enjoy, Mark Ruffalo. But all jokes aside, C-Bell, 
should be one of the favorites in New Hampshire. He's had so much success here in the Cup Series and in the Xfinity Series. I think most people would consider this to be his best racetrack. Another driver to always look out for, Kyle Larson. I, I don't even need to explain myself on him. Same thing for Denny Hamlin. Both of these drivers I expect to compete for the win week in and week out. I would keep an eye on Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, the last couple weeks, seems to have turned it around a little bit. He has not at all been getting those finishes, so you could really look at it either way as they're on a bad streak or on a good streak because Kyle Busch has been running in the top five, top ten, consistently the last four or five weeks, but just has not gotten those finishes. And New Hampshire tends to be a track where Kyle Busch has a bunch of bad luck but maybe he can flip it this weekend and that be the track where he gets some good luck because it's much needed. Another driver I will name as a favorite is Ryan Priest, actually. A little bit of an underdog favorite. Ryan Priest has a bunch of experience at this racetrack. He's ra he raced in the Wheel and Modified race here this weekend. He's just a very talented race car driver in general, especially on these sorts of racetracks. So I would keep an eye on him and his teammate, Josh Berry. Josh Berry was close to winning in Iowa, ran really well in Iowa. I think he ended up getting a top 10. So those are two drivers to keep your eye out for at Loudoun. But who is my pick? Who is my pick to win the event? And I think this is the first time I've done this this season. Last week, I was pretty on the nose, I'd say, with my predictions. I predicted that Larson and Christopher Bell would be the best cars. I think Larson was clearly the best car. I think I personally think Christopher Bell was the second best car. You can argue he was the third or fourth. He just struggled to get through traffic all day. He went to the back, went to the front, went to the back, went to the front, went to the back, went to the front. I think Bell ended up getting a top 10. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr., my underdog pick, ran really well as well. But I'm going to go back to back. I'm going to pick C. Bell to win the race. I picked him last week to win at Iowa. And I'll pick him again this week. Go back to back on C. Bell, Christopher Bell winning at New Hampshire. He's just so great at this racetrack unless he gets taken out or something happens with the rain. Like I said, there's so many factors. I think anybody could actually win this race with how many factors are going on. But if I have to pick a favorite to win, it would be Christopher Bell because I'd consider him to be the most talented driver at this racetrack. And who is the underdog? The underdog pick... This is also a pretty easy underdog. For underdog pick, it's pretty easy as well. I had already mentioned him, and that is Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest is looking for a job next year, whether that is in the Cup Series. A lot of people have him linked to moving back to the Xfinity Series with Stuart Haas Racing, taking one of those two spots. We'll have to see what happens there, but he is fighting for a job right now, and he is great at this style of racetrack and he's great at this in particular racetrack of new hampshire motor speedway i would expect him to at least get a top 10 but i would not be surprised at all if he's up there competing for the win at some point throughout the day but let me know your thoughts down below who is your pick to win at new hampshire motor speedway should be a good one i'm not sure if we'll end up having the race on sunday this could be a monday maybe even a tuesday race with the impending rain like i said i feel like rain always it always affects this race we had that race a couple years ago where we got a drizzle and then everyone went into three and four spun it out and wrecked it including my driver kyle bush and then kyle bush bumped the pace car after that i'll always remember that we'll have to see how the rain affects this weekend we will have the wet weather tires not rain tires wet weather tires and we'll have to see if they're if they get used at all. We'll have to see how everything goes. But I'm hoping on a great race. But everyone go enjoy the race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the Xfinity Series race. I'm filming this on Saturday afternoon. The Xfinity Series race might start up in a little bit. So far everything has gotten rained out except for the Wheel and Modified race. So we'll have to keep an eye out on that. But thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boys Short saying Peace.